Hi everyone, my name is Karina. I have uh, this channel, Shabby <laughs> um, Antique and Beauty. I also have a Facebook with the same name. I um, am on Instagram too, but it's under K. Uh, uh, Benson. Um, I will link down below because it's it's yeah. But my last name is Benson, so um, that is what I I end up using. Okay, um, I have a lot of, of um, I use my Instagram on, on things I've made. Uh, I use my private uh, Facebook for um, kids and home and everything. Uh, I use um, my Shabby Antique and Beauty on, on, on uh, Facebook for uh, selling uh, overseas or uh, out of the country. Um, I uh, sell mostly uh, for Danish, uh, Danish people uh, on different creative uh, pages here uh, in Denmark. Um, so it's going to be local. Um, many of the things that I sell here in Denmark, I don't put on my Chevy Antique and Beauty because I ask a lot of money here in Denmark, but I don't ask very much on Chevy Antique and Beauty. So if I don't sell it uh, here in Denmark, I put it on, on the Chevy Antique and Beauty. Um, and with a very low price. Uh, um, for example, my my flowers, uh, I sell them for um, sometimes up to eight dollars here in Denmark. Uh, but on on uh, on Shabby and Chicken Beauty, I am very low. I am only at two or three dollars so yeah that's that's um that's the difference um yes that was my info and welcome to new subscribers i got some and um thank you for being here and um, it gives very much joy to see it growing a little bit more and um, i know i haven't been very active on YouTube mostly because I am starting work again but actually because my kids is getting older and demanding actually more of my time in some way it's or just because they are awake all the time <laughs> and it, they are getting uh, in bed later and later and I don't have had the peace and quiet that I had before. Um, so, and because of Corona, uh, we don't, before Corona, they were at daycare and uh, um, after school activities until four o'clock in the afternoon, um, which is a very long day, but um, that was how it was, but now we are um, picking up uh, Christian. Christian is only two, becoming three this year. Um, he is, um, he is uh, we take him home from daycare um, at one o'clock. So it's only just cleaning up, uh, just doing a little bit of crafting or some, just vacuum <laughs> or something like that and then there's lunch and then oh my god we need to go because we should we are also gonna uh, shop uh, like for food and stuff so and then we pick up uh, Frederike my uh, oldest daughter uh, from school afterwards and then we have a lot of time with them and I enjoy it and uh, I'm crafting a little bit while they are playing with each other or watching telly or something like that but then I can't videotape so I used a lot of time from one to four videotaping before uh, Corona but now I don't have the time as, as I had before. 
here in Denmark, um, we are opening up our country more and more and more. Um, there's some pe some things that is not open yet. For example, um, libraries, uh, swimming uh, activities, uh, oh, the border to Sweden. Apparently, Sweden is not having um, the virus under control as many of the other countries around us. So, um, we are not allowing people to uh, go back and forth to Sweden. Um, we are, um, yeah, shopping malls is open. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Enough about Corona. I don't care about it anymore. Um, we are washing our hands and we are coughing in our sleeve and we are having it under control. If somebody in uh, we keeping our daily life uh, very um, isolated. Uh, in in our little town instead of uh, always uh, going back and forth to the other end of the country you know so we are keeping it more to ourselves um we are um skyping to my mother and to my husband's uh, parents and um, so we still keep the uh, contact like that um so that works fine okay um what should we talk about? Uh, I've been writing down. So my last video was uh, my swap to Swan. I wanted it actually to be a fiver, but I wasn't sure. Uh, mostly because I made the video so so I could explain to on how um, everything was packaged or what the idea was behind uh, the things I have made. Yes, but. Um, I thought it was okay to, to publish it since uh, she won't wanted me to like explain uh, some of the things. That is totally okay. Um, I still need to uh, link the pattern to to the butterfly, um, uh, the pearl butterfly. I haven't done that yet. I will. Um, Sonia. I am working on your package. Uh, I have so many ideas I wanted to make for you. I wanted to, like, if I make a flower, I want to make a box uh, suited for it and everything. everything. I want to do it in your style as much as I can. I want to, I want to do it right. And it takes a little bit of time, uh, mostly because I want it to be perfect. So. Yeah, that's how I am. Um, then I have been working on custom orders. I had some ordering a hairpiece uh, in white, blue, uh, um, with, uh, where I twist the pearls and everything. Love it. It became beautiful. Um, but it was a little bit of a fiddling because I needed to be sure what kind of color she wanted. Uh, she wanted a dark blue, like a like this one, almost black. But she also wanted it um, when I made something for her. The flowers um, they were too dark, dark, and that's difficult when it's on picture. Um, I haven't actually heard from her. She received it two days ago. I will contact her and hear if she is okay with it. Um, then I did some uh, flowers. Uh, I went to our second hand. They are open again. Um, yeah, I am. I'm, I didn't start up. Uh, there uh, because I was afraid of uh, what if I make them sick and but they are actually uh, shopping in that store that I am working at so I don't know I'm getting more okay with it so yeah well in our second hand I was uh, there just to say hi and they had a, a girl's dress, a little small girl's dress that I was uh, 
a strap um, that was needing some stitches. I took it home, washed it, and I was wondering should I stitch this and let, give it back and then they got uh, 10 Danish kronos that is around one and a half dollar for that dress if they sold it uh, never know uh, because it was really simple um, beautiful pink and it's like a dress up uh, um, um, dress and it wasn't really you know special in any way and then I was thinking if I cut it up and make flowers out of it I can get six dollars yeah around six dollars for each flower and I got five flowers out of it um, I have only sold two of them but it's like 60 Danish kroners um, what is that then? 12, $12? Around $12. Um, that is a lot when you compare it with just selling the dress for one and a half dollar. So um, I actually made some money on it uh, for myself and for them. And then um, I'm giving them the, the rest of the flowers. Okay. Then I have uh, books, books, I've made some books uh, and I asked on a Danish uh, Facebook if uh, what they thought of it and um, there was two who, um, who contacted me and wanted to have more, uh, have some, some of them and I needed to make something that wasn't light colors like yeah and though and i didn't have much uh, because i wanted it to be exciting and i wanted it to be cotton and everything and i normally only work with light colors pastels and stuff and um, because of this yummy chic um so I did what I could and it worked and they were really really happy um, and then I had um, uh, yeah the flowers I sold the flowers uh, yeah there was a customer who who asked for two of the pink flowers from from that dress and I end up selling eight flowers for her um, because she wanted some other colors and I found them in my stash and then uh, um, and she bought everything I made <laughs> I was like oh my god okay and then um, and then she posted uh, her box on on, the, on Facebook on her own private Facebook and then uh, there was one of her girlfriends that said oh my god I need two of those so that was awesome that is the way to go definitely um this girl that is uh, asking for the flowers she is also asking for a bag and i was a little bit oh, are you will you please go over to pinterest and find it look under boho bags because she wanted a shoulder bag with a flap and it should be something ball and um, she, she was not scared um, I love those customers <laughs> uh, because you can be so creative but um, first she found the the style of the bag and then I found a couple of similar uh, pictures of of uh, bags like that so I was sure what kind of style I was going um, so it was mostly a quilted bag she wanted it was not the the fringes uh, she did say yes to fringes but I'm not gonna work with them much because I think they're irritating on bags but that is my personal um, thing I uh, I like simple bags because the bag is going to hold my things and everything. I don't want it to stick on everything and yeah. So, 
maybe I'm gonna in the bottom put a little bit of fringing. I'm not sure. Uh, after we found out what kind of styles you wanted, we uh, we talked about colors and she mentioned three colors. She mentioned, I think it was a uh, purple, a some kind of blue and a teal. So this is is what I'm working on. It's a quilted bag. A way of quilted. I'm trying to do a little bit of crazy quilting. She didn't. The picture she found was like abstract. Um, she wanted more um, straight lines and everything. Um, so this is gonna. I only made the the fabric now. I I'm not quite finished, but I'm almost there. Um, when I'm finished, I am gonna um, I'm gonna post the uh, pictures on Instagram. So yeah, I have like um, this is the front of the pack. This is gonna be the flap, um, and this string is from Annie Miss Garden Girl, and I just uh, stitched some pearls in the in the centers. This piece is from Nova. This is from no. Maybe it's from Nova. I have. Some, she has something similar. If it's not from her, it is from my second hand. This piece, I'm pretty sure that is from Nova. Um, this uh, is a um, scarf. I think I found in our second hand. This piece, this beautiful piece, is a peacock. Is from. Um, Karen Phillips. Hi Karen and thank you so very much. It's so pretty and it's perfect on this piece. Uh, then we have some um, lace here. I put a lot of pills and, and bling on it. Um, and that is from um, Diana Bacchus. Hi Diana if you're watching. Um, so I'm trying to keep it a little bit simple because it's an everyday bag and I'm not sure how crazy she's going to be with it, this. I'm just going to take a sip of my coffee. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. So, um, okay. Uh, so this is gonna be the flap. I'm just gonna round the corners. I'm gonna put some laces here. That's not too long. Um, inside, um, oh yeah, uh, the back of the, the fabric here is um, my husband's pants, <laughs> his uh, jeans. Uh, they were going to be short, short this uh, summer. So yeah, <laughs> I end up using that. This is gonna be the back of the uh, back. It's it's a uh, it's the fabric on the back. Yes, not too much, not too many um, things that can stuck and everything. So I try to like touch it if does anything stick or what. And she wanted sequins. I wasn't sure because she wrote to me that it wasn't a uh, a. Uh, uh, a night um, bag but it was it was a um, everyday bag so yeah but she wanted a little bit of pearls and a little bit of sequins and everything so I try to keep it down but not too much so that is the bag <laughs> this piece is from Nola Nola my own my own fibers dress from the second hand Nola but as you can see, it's not because I took a lot of things, uh, new things, but it's just, yeah, keeping the same way. This is going to be the inside, where the flap is going to be over, and then you open the flap and you have this piece to look at. Um, and this piece is sticking to everything. So I have a little bit of fringes. I, I have this piece I'm sewing on. I'm still not finished. 
I've kept the same style of this trim. I um, this one is from Natasha. I have forgotten your Facebook. I will link down below uh, the different people that I'm talking about. Um, this piece is from Karen Phillips. Um, she had the most awesome uh, kits um, some years back, but she uh, stopped because there was too much work with it since she also had a full-time job beside this. So she stopped. Yes. Okay. Um, but when I'm finished with it, I will post a picture on uh, Instagram and um, I'll share a, a yeah, picture on Pinterest. Actually, um, when I'm finished making the fabric, it, it's going to be so simple and so fast to uh, sew it together. But it's so much work to make the fabrics. Um, it's not something I'm going that direction because it's too much work. Um, but once in a while I will probably uh, make smaller pieces and then just gifted as presents mostly because um, you can use them on book covers you can use them on different things uh, yes that's it I um, I didn't show you anything that is finished but uh, I wanted to give you an update I am also working on uh, Annie Miss Garden Grove's um, kit from January where it was letters um, it was a special sales kit um, it has been sitting around and I have thought of how to like videotape and post it and everything um, so I haven't really worked on it I have glued all the letters together but I wanted to show more the process of making it um so i haven't had much video time so i will be working on that oh yeah and then i made a um teaching uh um bag dangle or for for this one so i made two guess where it, the other one is going so yeah um enough about that I want to um, say uh, thank you for watching and thank you for uh, subscribing to my channel. Um, hope you uh, you will be inspired on my channel. Um, yes, I will remember to link down below and link on for the pattern of the butterfly on the uh, on my last video. Thank you so much everyone and have a great day. Bye!